What's expected to be good news for travelers could hurt airports across the nation. Congress passed a bill last week which allows the FAA to stop air traffic controller furloughs. Now, the agency was putting workers on unpaid leave in order to deal with federal spending cuts. This led to thousands of delays with flights. The FAA now has the flexibility to move some money into its budget to avoid these staffing issues. It's only a temporary fix, though. The budget shifting from one pile to another could threaten some airport projects in our area. Fox 11's Chad Doran has multiple views. The Outagamie County Regional Airport is planning a multi-million dollar expansion of its runway aprons this year. Uh, certainly when EAA arrives this year, we're going to need... Uh, all the apron we can get. 90% of the project's funds is supposed to come through a federal airport improvement grant, which amounts to $2.2 million. But now that grant money could be used to pay air traffic controllers instead. Well, we certainly don't anticipate it going away in its entirety. Uh, we hope it doesn't go away at all. If it does, we're simply going to have to scale the size of our apron project back. A problem that has a broader impact outside the airport grounds. County Executive Tom Nelson notes growth at the airport has a huge impact on the county as a whole. You're talking about an annual $400 million economic Im impact that directly or indirectly impacts 2,600 jobs. So this is a big deal here in the Fox Cities. Yeah. Len says it's too early to tell what may happen with the AIP grant program. But airline passengers are breathing a sigh of relief that one less obstacle stands between them and an on-time flight. We're kind of international, so we do a lot of flying every year um, out of international cities and stuff so um, yeah it's good for us because we do use the airlines a lot. A fix for one problem that could create another. It's just critical that the communication is good that it's strong so that both of us can react appropriately uh, as, as the times change. It's just the nature of the air aviation business right now. In Greenville, Chad Doran, Fox 11 News. The Fond du Lac County Airport along Highway 41 says it's also using federal money to try to improve its taxiways. The move by Congress is only a five-month fix, however. The money is allowed to pay air traffic controller salaries and expenses only for the rest of the federal budget year, and that ends September 30th.